Welcome to another Laravel video. Today we are going to talk about Laravel Jetstream. So this is the second Laravel starter kit that we want to see what they offer and how to install it. In the previous video, we covered Laravel Breeze and we saw that they offer a simple authentication system for us with features like resetting your password or email verifications. So let's see how to install Laravel Jetstream first. So on this page, which is linked in the description, you can select Laravel Jetstream and this is all we get in Laravel documentation. So we need to go to Jetstream documentation. And on this page, we want to first go to installation. So much like Breeze Starter Kit, we have two ways installing Jetstream. One using Laravel installer, or we could just use the composer command. So I'm going to go to terminal first and use the Laravel installer to show you the prompts we get. So if I just type Laravel new and give my project a name, the second prompt is to choose a starter kit. So I'm going to choose Jetstream. And don't worry if you don't have Laravel installer because I will show you how to use the composer command after this. So I'm going to choose Jetstream. Then I have two options for the JavaScript part, unlike Breeze, where we could use React, Alpine.js or Vue.js. With Jetstream, we have only two options either use Livewire, which is another JavaScript library, or use Vue.js with Inertia. Now, since we already covered Vue and Inertia in another series, I'm going to choose that one. Now, the next step is to choose the features we want to enable for our application. So you can press a space on these and enable or disable them. We have API support. If you want to add that to your website, we can add dark or light mode. So I can select that one. We can add email verification out of the box or we can add it manually later on. We can also add the team support feature. This will add a new system to our application where we can have teams to collaborate. So I'm going to enable that one too. And we can also use inertia server side rendering. Now we haven't talked about this one, so I'm not going to go through it and I'm going to keep it unselected. So if we press enter on this one, we need to choose framework testing. I'm just going to choose pest. We don't need it anyway. And no Git repository. And this will go through the installation. So the next prompt is our database selection. And I'm just going to choose SQLite. And as the last step, we get another prompt that says we need to rerun our migrations because now we have new tables and new columns for our Teams feature. So I can just press yes, and this will run the database migrations in our project. So that is installed using a Laravel installer. Now let's see how we can install it using a composer command, and then we will open it in the browser and VS Code to see what we have. So I'm gonna go back to Jetstream documentation and then use this command to install a fresh Laravel application. Also, I'm going to change the name to Jetstream and press enter. So this will install Laravel application with default values. So we have SQLite for our database and we don't have any JavaScript framework. So next we want to CD into that project. So let's just say CD Jetstream app. Then we need to install Jetstream using a composer command. So I will copy that and paste it in my terminal. And when that is done, we can go back to the documentation and continue. So first you notice we have a warning here that says Jetstream should only be installed into a new Laravel application. So if you attempt to install on an existing application, this will result on unexpected behavior. So the next step is to install the Jetstream using an artisan command. So you have all these commands that you can see here, but an easy way is to just copy this command, paste it in your terminal with an H flag that is basically asking for help. So if I press enter here and scroll up, so you notice the options and arguments we can use. First, we need to choose the stack. So either inertia or live wire. So we can say, PHP Artisan Jetstream install inertia. Then we have the options that we can enable using this double dash and then the name of the option. So if you want dark mode, you can use this flag. If you need the Teams feature, you can use this one or the API or email verification or unit testing, server side rendering, and the rest that is not really necessary. So I'm going to run that command again, choose inertia as the stack, and then I'm going to enable the dark mode as well as Teams and press enter. And when that is done, much like with Laravel installer, we get a prompt that says we need to rerun our migrations. So we just press yes. And now we are ready to serve the application on the local development server. So I can say PHP artisan serve, and then open a new tab and run npm run dev. So whether you used Laravel installer or composer, we should have the same thing here. And if I open that page, we get the Laravel front end page with two buttons for register and a login. So if you watched the Breeze starter kit video, this is quite similar. So if you go to register, we can see it is very much like the Breeze application. We have the Jetstream logo on top. We have name, 
email password and confirm password. So if I press register without adding anything, we get the browser error. That's because they set the required attribute on these input fields to true. But let's add some information here. So I'm going to add the password that is only three characters and press register. We get the errors that password must be eight characters. So now I have a password with eight characters, press register. We are directed to the dashboard. So unlike Breeze, you notice we have a dashboard with some information about Jetstream. So we can go to learn about it or read the documentation and explore their features. Then on the top right corner, we have two dropdowns. One is for our team, which we enabled and we will go through it in a moment. And then the other one is our profile. This part is kind of like Breeze, but it is designed a bit better because we have this manage account text here that says what this drop down does and then we have our profile and then the logout so first i'm going to log out again we are back to the home page and then try to log in with this email that is not correct so if i add some password and press log in we get the errors of course but now if i try to log in with the proper credentials we are back to the dashboard so now let's go to our profile and see what we have here in jetstream similar to breeze a starter kit we have sections first one is to update our name and email but now we have this nice information on the left side then we have the update password where we need to provide our current password and then the new password then we have two-factor authentication and the browser sessions so these two sections are only available on jetstream and we don't have this in laravel breeze and we can enable this two-factor authentication which uses google authenticator and and I can just provide my password here that will give me a QR code that I can scan it with my Google Authenticator. And every time I need to log in, I need to provide that six digit code from Google Authenticator app. So I'm just going to cancel this. We don't need it. We have browser sessions so the users can see when they are logged in. And then in the last section is deleting the account that is also available on Laravel Breeze. And if you want to delete your account, you need to provide your password. So this is what we get on our profile with Laravel Jetstream. Now let's go to Teams and see what we have there. So if I click on this drop down menu, we have team setting and then creating a new team. So I will start with team settings. We have the team owner, which is the same account who created this. And and then I can add team members down here and give them different roles. For example, if I add an email here and choose editor and press add, this will send an invitation to that user and they need to accept. So you notice it says pending team invitation. So this user needs to accept that invitation and then we will have them on our team. You can even have multiple teams. So for example, I can change the name of this one to marketing and save it. So you notice up here it says marketing and then go create a new team. And this is gonna be the dev team. So if I press create, now we are back to dashboard and if we open this drop down which says dev team right now uh, you can see we can switch between the teams or we can manage that particular team in this case it is the developer team and i can invite more people to this team so jetstream offers more security and features compared to a lot of breeze now let's open this in vs code and see what we have there so this is our jetstream app and of course they use tailwind for the styles and then we can go through these files and folders and see what we have. So let's just start with app, which is the core of our application. You notice we have an actions folder that includes Fortify and Jetstream itself. Fortify is another package by Laravel that is used for authentication and Jetstream uses this package for the authentication system. And the Jetstream folder is handling the team's feature. So we are not going to dig deep into these documents, but these are just controllers and handlers for different actions that Jetstream offers. Then we have models, policies, and providers, and you can explore all of these folders and see what we have. And we don't really need to know what all of these documents do. Let's move on to the resources where we have the views. So we have our app, which is the root document, and then we have our emails within the views. So we have a team invitation email. We have this markdown folder that is used for terms and conditions and policies so you can include your website's terms and policy in these two documents that are marked down and within the JS folder we have our pages so again since we are using Vue.js everything is within the JS folder so if you were to customize your views you could do so here and then we have our routes of course within web.php we have two routes for the home page and the dashboard and we have our authentication routes within the api.php so again, authentication is handled by Laravel Fortify. And in fact, you can read all about it in Laravel Jetstream documentation under authentication section, you have Laravel Fortify. And they mention here that they use this package for authentication. 
So you remember when we installed our application, we didn't enable email verification feature. And to enable that, we need to take a few steps. So back to Jetstream documentation under email verification, we need to first open 45PHP, which is inside our config folder, and then enable the features that we want to use. So let's go back to our project. Under config folder, we have fortify.php. And if you scroll down all the way, you notice this line of code is commented out. So we want to bring it back and save it. Then we need to open our user model within the app folders and models, and we implement a must verify email contract from a Laravel. So make sure it is imported. And in fact, it's already included, but it's commented out. So you can just delete that comment. So this is also available in Jetstream documentation. But with that change, we now have email verification system. So if I log out from this user and go back to register to create a new user and try to register with this new user and press register, but now we don't go to the dashboard directly and we see this message that says you need to verify your email, but we can go to the profile. So if I press edit profile, we can see our profile and you notice down here it says your email is unverified so we need to verify that but anyway that's how you can enable email verification feature by editing your fortify.php and also implementing the must verify email contract in the user model so that is all about laravel jetstream so i hope you enjoyed this video and this has been helpful thanks for watching and see you at the next one